plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. See ya. Farewell, Nancy. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence! Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's. Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends. Is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times. He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week. I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Why not? Hmm. Not exactly sure. You said she was having a tough time. I heard she's been having some money problems. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a?